In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we gather now on the 19th Sunday in ordinary time. In the gospel today, Jesus reminds us he comes to us, especially in the very challenging times of our lives, to remind us that he is always with us, to lift us up. Let us just pause for a moment now to cast our cares on the Lord and ask the Lord now to fill us with his grace, his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. salvation. 
salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There's the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, in the Christ, who is over all. God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have many favorite gospel passages, but this one always inspires me and gives me great comfort and hope. It has a lot to say about fear and trust, doubt and faith, and about daring to do the impossible. I'm pretty certain there is not a person who is participating in this Mass that has not experienced these thoughts and feelings. We have all had our share of personal struggles, our doubts and our fears, the reality of sickness, and the death of our loved ones, family and friends, and so many other challenges that may be only known to ourselves. And that is why I believe the message of this gospel today is needed more than ever, to assure us that no matter what happens, God is always with us to save us, to give us hope and encouragement. And in the words of Jesus today, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. The image of Jesus getting into the boat with the disciples is the metaphor for the church. The ship or the bark of Peter was an ancient Christian symbol. It is the church tossed about on the sea of disbelief, worldliness, and persecution by finally reaching safe harbor with its cargo of human souls. We can look back over the centuries and see how the church has battled so many turbulent times and persecution, even to this very day. But what gives us hope is that it is God's church. And like Jesus calming the seas and saving Peter from drowning, it will be Jesus who will guide us safely home if we just hold on, persevere, and keep the faith. We are all here today because we are people of faith, but that doesn't mean that we don't still struggle with our own doubts and fears. Like the disciples in the gospel today, struggling against a stormy sea in the boat, being reassured by Jesus calming the storm, we all need that reassurance over and over again and the help of Jesus to calm the storms in our own daily lives. We look to St. Peter today, faced with a storm and a vision of something that was incredible. Peter didn't cower, he didn't hide. He did just the opposite, something seemingly counterintuitive. He asked Christ to summon him. And Jesus responded simply by saying, come. And so Peter, full of trust and obedience and courage, got out of the boat. And for a few moments, he did something he didn't think possible. He actually began to walk on water until he lost heart, became frightened, and began to doubt. And thus he began to sink. Jesus, as he always does, reached out and and rescued Peter. Christ understood that what he was asking of Peter was very challenging, but Jesus was there for him. And the truth is, Jesus is right here, right now, for each and every one of us, in all of our challenges, in all of our uncertainties, in all of our doubts and fears, and through all the storms of our lives. How many times in our lives have we been invited to take that leap of faith, to figuratively get out of the boat and trust that the Lord will provide? Whether we realize it or not, Jesus is calling us each and every day. Each of us is being asked to leave our comfort zone to follow Jesus Christ. Come, he is saying to us, do what you think you can't do and believe. If we but keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus through the strength of our daily prayer and the Eucharist, we may find ourselves more courageous than we ever thought. Alone we can do nothing, 
but with God's grace, all things are possible. Put another way, as the title of the book once put it, if you want to walk on water, you got to get out of the boat. And so, my friends, as we face the storms and the challenges of our own lives today, may we hear the voice of Jesus calling us to come to him. May we see Jesus reaching out his hand to, to lift us up. And may we hear Jesus say to us today, courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Amen. And together now we profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there, From there he will come, come to judge, judge the living and the dead. And the dead. I, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let us fix our eyes on our saving Lord and bring our needs to him. For the Church, may the hand of the Lord steady each of us across any stormy waters as we serve one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God equip them to work for justice for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are facing a trial of faith, may the Lord's gentle whisper and guiding hand be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, May God give us the grace to follow him in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon rest in eternal peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we know we can do all things by your grace. Please hear and answer our prayers in your kindness and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, 
we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, indeed of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And may that peace now enter your hearts and your homes and all with whom you share peace today. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. 
have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. And our prayer now for Father Baker's canonization. Lord, Lord you gave you us gave your us servant, servant Nelson, Nelson Baker, Baker as, an, as an, example an example of service to the poor, poor homeless, homeless, and young. By, by Father, Father Baker's, Baker's ardent, ardent concern, concern for those in need, Inflame our hearts and lives with compassion for the poor, justice for the oppressed, hope for the troubled, and courage to those in doubt. We pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Victory, if it be your will, that your servant, Nelson Baker, may one day be canonized. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.